Hey, praise God, glory. Thank you, Lord. Draw the hearts to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, and help me read your word. Open the eyes to see and the ears to hear, and may you forever increase as we decrease, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So, Romans chapter 6, verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Hallelujah. So we die to ourself in our old ways. There it is. It's gone. Now we've given our life and asked Jesus into our heart. We've repented of our sin. And now we walk in newness of life. Hallelujah. In Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Down here in verse 12. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lusts thereof. 13. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your, your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. So, now you... You've forsaken the old life. It's gone. It's done. You're sick of it anyways. It's done. Now, we're marching forward in Christ Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. He loves us. He bought and paid for us. And now we strive towards his kingdom, not our own. <laughs> we're, we're not selfish those selfish desires and everything all gone. Now we go forward in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And then 14. For sin shall not have dominion over you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For ye are not under the law, but under grace. Now, that's tricky. It can stumble some people because... We don't abuse grace. Hallelujah. We turn from our sin. And if you sin, okay, like down here in verse 12, let not sin therefore reign. So in your old life, sin reigned. It was on the throne of your heart, and that was what you did. Now Jesus Christ is on the throne of your heart. And now you walk in newness of life in Christ Jesus and you walk his ways, not your ways. Because you die in Christ. You die to yourself in Christ. You lay it at the you lay everything that you are at the foot of the cross and you repent and you give everything to Jesus. And now he takes that. And we rise like he rose in the resurrection and now we walk in newness of life in Christ Jesus and we have the Holy Spirit his spirit to help us to not go to those things anymore but go forward in Christ Jesus thank you Jesus for that so verse 15 what then shall we sin because we are not under the law but under grace God forbid it says Nope, we're not supposed to. We need to walk forward in Christ Jesus and what he has for us, not what we had for us <laughs> in our old life. But now we walk in newness of life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But God be thanked, verse 17. I'm skipping around a little bit because I don't have time for all of it. Anyways, but God be thanked that we were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Hallelujah. Being then made free from sin 
ye become the servants of righteousness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And then verse 20, for when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. Sin, the sin life is death. But now being made free from sin and become servants of God, ye have your fruit unto holiness, hallelujah, and the end everlasting life. So sin life leads to death, spiritual death. You don't want it. It made you sad anyways. It was a sad life. Now you have newness in Christ Jesus. He's filled, filled the empty space in your heart, hallelujah, that... Thank you, Jesus. And you go forward in Christ Jesus because you love him so much. And what he did for you on the cross, he bought and paid for you. All of those wages of sin that was death, he paid the full price so that you can now live in him and through him into a new life. That's full and complete and happy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You can't buy happiness. <laughs> it's only found in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus got a hold of my life and he won't let me go.
expect you to live this life alone. When you relent yourself to him fully, he fills the void that's in your heart. Thank you, Jesus. And now you can have a restored relationship with God. Hallelujah. Christ Jesus, who loves you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Who bought and paid for you to be set free from sin and death. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Don't have to live that way anymore. <laughs> Walk anew. Walk afresh in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. Bless your day.